Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use the Shaper tool. It looks like this and you can select it from the toolbar panel. It is located in the same group as the Pencil tool. Or you can press the Shift and N keys on your keyboard. I would recommend to memorize this keyboard shortcut, it will speed up your work in the future. The Shaper tool helps to create simple or complex designs by drawing, stacking and placing shapes together and then simply combining, merging, deleting or moving them. Here are the very basic shapes you can draw with the Shaper tool. The shape you draw is converted into a crisp geometric shape and it becomes a live shape, which means it is fully editable. To move a shape, first click on it to select it and then click, hold and drag. You can also draw shapes without the rotating step. For example, you can create a 45 degree line. You can draw lines at different angles. However, other shapes can be rotated only by 45 degrees. To draw a triangle pointing up, start from the horizontal line and then move up. To point it down, start from the horizontal line and then move down. No matter how you draw a triangle, it will default to an equilateral triangle. There is a way to draw triangles that are not equilateral, which I will show you in a bit. You can approximate a rectangle at any orientation, but it will default to 45 degrees or horizontal and vertical. And you can draw polygons. You can draw a multi-sided polygon, but no matter how many sides you draw, it will default to a hexagon or a circle. If you would like to change the number of sides, click on it to select it and then move the little diamond shaped mark to decrease or increase the number of sides. With the Shaper tool, you can create shapes from overlapping shapes by merging, deleting or punching them out using the scribble action. Here we have three overlapping shapes. The green one is in the back, the yellow in the middle and the red one is in the front. If the scribble is within one shape, the area is punched out. If the scribble is across intersecting areas of two or more shapes, the intersecting areas are punched out. If the scribble originates from the shape in the front, from a non-overlapping area to an overlapping area, the shape in the front is punched out. If the scribble originates from an overlapping area to a non-overlapping area, the shapes are merged, with the color of the merged area being that of the scribble origin point. If the scribble originates from the shape in the back, from a non-overlapping area to an overlapping area, the shapes are merged, with the color of the merged area being that of the scribble origin point. Let's scribble across the green and the yellow shapes to merge them together and scribble within the red shape to punch it out. By scribbling across some shapes to create other shapes, we create a shaper group. All shapes in a shaper group stay editable, even after portions of shapes may have been punched out or merged. Single click on the shape to select the shaper group. Double click on the shape or click on the arrow widget so that it appears pointing upwards and this will open the construction mode. Here you can click on the shape or on the shape's stroke to select and modify it. Notice that all the shapes within the construction group are surrounded by a dashed line border. When I, for example, move my square shape, the dashed line border will expand accordingly. 
To get out of the construction mode, either click on the arrow widget or away from the borderline. Let's select the shaper group again. When you click on the shape one more time, it will take you to the face selection mode. If the shaper group contains merged shapes, the face of the shape appears matted. Now you can change the fill color of the shape. To remove a shape from the shaper group, first click on the arrow widget to switch to the construction mode. Then click on the shape or the shape's stroke. Now click, hold and drag it outside the bounding box. Let's undo it. You can also scale or move the entire group as well. Next we'll create a half circle. With the shaper tool still selected, draw a circle and then a rectangle to overlap with the circle. Make sure your smart guides are activated. Let's align the rectangle with the center of the circle. Click away to deselect and then scribble across the overlapping area and the rectangle area. Click on it to select it and change its color. Let's move this shaper group up. Next we'll create a right angle triangle. First draw a triangle and then draw a rectangle that is overlapping with the triangle. Then scribble across the overlapping area and the rectangle area. Now change its color. Let's create this shape. First draw a big circle. Then a small circle inside the big one and align them to the center by using the smart guides. Now scribble in the center to remove this overlapping area. Click on it to select it and add a different color. Next we'll create this mountain and the moon. First we'll make this triangle. With the shaper tool still selected, draw a square at 45 degrees. Next draw a line just above the center line of the square. Now scribble on the end points of the line and across the bottom portion of the square. Next we'll create this. Just draw a few rectangles on top. Now we will delete the top part to get this look. To do that, scribble across the shapes outside the big triangle's boundary. Next we'll merge the top rectangles to get this look. To do that, scribble across all the rectangles inside the big triangle. Now click on the shaper group and click again to open the face selection mode. Apply a color to the bottom, select the top shapes and apply a different color. If you would like to make any changes to this shaper group, open the construction mode and with a single underlying object selected you can modify any property or appearance of that object. Let's create a moon shape. First draw a small circle and then draw another circle that is overlapping with the previous circle. Now scribble across the overlapping part and the small circle. Click on the shape, add a different color, scale it, reposition it and if you like open the construction mode and make any additional changes. If you for example create a new shape and decide that you are not going to edit it anymore, with the shaper group still selected, go to object, expand, make sure all the boxes are checked and click OK. Now the shape can no longer be edited using the construction mode. If you draw your shapes using the basic tools like a rectangle, or a circle, you can still select the shaper tool and use it like we did before. Thanks for watching and bye bye.